Hi, welcome to day three of common denominators. And let's just go back and talk about what common denominators are. So when we're talking about common in this way, we mean that it's the same and the denominator is the bottom number on a fraction. So we're talking about the same bottom number on the fraction, common denominator. So yesterday we talked about looking at one fraction and seeing if the other fraction, if the denominator of the smaller fraction could go into the denominator of the larger fraction, and we use factors. Okay, well today we're going to look at when they aren't factors of each other. So we can't use the method that we used yesterday because three doesn't go into eight. So what we can do for this though, is we can just multiply this fraction by this denominator over this denominator, which once again, you're just timesing it by one, which makes it proportional. You're not changing the fraction to a different number. You're just changing it to a different way of saying the same number. So two times eight is 16 and three times eight is 24. And then we're gonna do the same thing over here, except we're gonna use this denominator, which is three. We're gonna make three divided by three or three over three or three thirds, however you wanna say it, that all equals one. But when we multiply these, we will get a common denominator. So let's do four times three is 12. And then eight times three is 24. And now you see that they have a common denominator, 24. Now we could add them or subtract them easily because we're talking about the same terms, the same um, way of splitting up the number, the same number of sections, if you will. Okay, so let's look at another one like that. So we go to the smaller number, it does, the smaller denominator does not go into the larger denominator. So we can use that method we were just talking about. And you can really use this for any of them. If you, if all else fails and you can't remember how to do it for anything, then you can use this one. So we're going to multiply this one half by the denominator over the denominator over here. And then the two fifths, we're gonna multiply by this denominator over this denominator. So one times five is five, two times five is 10. Over here, two times two is four, and five times two is 10. So now they have a common denominator and we could add or subtract them. Let's just do one more example. Kind of try it yourself maybe at first. So seven does not go into eight, so we can't use that method. So we're going to do this, and then over here we're gonna multiply by seven over seven. So three times eight is 24, and seven times eight is 56. Five times seven is 35, and eight times seven is 56. So now we have common denominators. And like I said before, that means now we could add um, or subtract with these numbers because we got we need those common denominators to be able to do addition and subtraction with our fractions. Okay, well, good luck on your lesson and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.